Hi, this is Craig, and welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. The channel is just about to cross 10,000 subscribers, and as I mentioned before, Janice and I are going to do a live feed when we cross that 10,000 subscriber mark, and it shouldn't be too much longer. Just coincidence, Freewell Gear, a company you've seen me deal with some of their products before, sent me more gear, except this time they said, why don't you do a giveaway? And it just perfectly lines up with our 10,000 subscriber um, crossing. And during that live feed, I'm going to do the giveaway. And here's how what's going to happen. I'm going to show you some free well gear that they sent me again to review. Here's the trick. They originally they were offering to give away one of these new cases, but really that only helps people that already have a Mavic Pro. So what we've decided to do is Freewell is going to give the winner a $99 value. They go to the website, pick whatever they want off the website, and Freewell will send it directly to you free of charge. So let's go through some of the gear that they've sent me to review. They're not paying me to do this. They just send me some gear from time to time. They've been excellent. I like working with Harry from Freewell. I just got this stuff yesterday or the day before yesterday. So I've done this one very quickly, mostly because my 10,000 subscriber mark is going to be passed any day now. So I want to make sure you know what gear you can get. So the trick to get it, once I show you this stuff, is if any of this stuff interests you, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to like the video, of course, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments below, you're going to put a hashtag and then the product name of the thing you want. Uh, and if there's more than one thing to add up to $99, that's fine too. You just put a hashtag, the name of the thing, uh, or name of the number of things. And as long as it adds up to $99 or less, it's yours if you win. So let's go through the products. Let me just turn on my secondary camera light. So first thing is, here's the, here's the case that Freewell sent me a few months ago. And here's the new case. You may be able to notice that the new case is smaller and a bit thinner. So the difference here is this one, well, it used to have all my gear in it, is pretty much the same but smaller, but there's a few extra features here. One thing is there's now a little button you need to press to unlock these latches. And once you open it, you find you have the exact same amount of things you can put in here, but they've just used the space a little bit more ergonomically. It's a little bit thinner between each of these things. See the battery fits in this one like this and the battery and it's got a bit of play there you can actually jiggle it around this one they've made nice and snug when you get in there it's not moving this is also softer foam this foam over here was harder foam so they've kind of improved on a product they've already been selling and as you can see if I go from hinge to hinge the blue one is shorter and when I close it I believe the blue one is no, I guess it's about the same it's about the same thickness but it's a little bit shorter and narrower and that's great because I use this case all the time when I want to bring all my Mavic gear. You can get stuff like this. It's a clamshell case and it's good for if you want to just throw your Mavic in it and your controller in this and then throw it in your backpack and go. That works fine. But that only gives you one battery with your Mavic. No extra props, no cords to charge, nothing. So if you're just going to go out and fly one battery's worth, that'll work. But if you want more than one battery, you want your charging cables, you want your extra propellers, all that, then you need a case like this so you can throw it in your car. The good thing about the smaller case is now you're going to be able to fit this maybe in a backpack as opposed to this bigger Pelican case. It was almost too big to fit in a backpack at all. This one seems like it'll be just the right size to fit in a backpack and then still have room for, you know, drinks or whatever you're, you're going to bring with you on your trip. And like I said, the, uh, the water, it's waterproof just like the other one, but they have improved on a couple of things. Not only do they make it smaller, but they now have these little locking buttons on the clasp to keep it from accidentally coming unlatched. The other one was just straight pull it up and it comes unlatched. So that's an improvement. I already like the original one, so I don't see any reason I wouldn't like the smaller, more efficiently set up one. So that's the first product. So the next thing is this, which is a sunshade for the Mavic. So my original sunshade is this one. I got this from a different company and it's the one you've probably seen around a lot before. You just sort of slide it in the back of your Mavic. There's where little antennas go to hold it and pretty much just your antennas are what's holding this from falling off. This one has got straps. I'll show this camera here. This one's got straps. This is the old one. And what it does is it straps around your phone and now it's covering the sun from all angles, not just from the top like this one does. It's got a little opening at the bottom so you can stick your finger in and touch the screen if you need to. And uh, yeah, it seems to do the job. I didn't attach all the, all the straps at this point, but you, you can do, I've only got one attached, you can attach the other one. And then that'll come on, that won't go anywhere. And it's deeper 
And then, like I say, it stops light from coming in from all directions. So that's a, a nice improvement. Obviously, Freewell is good at putting their name on everything. <laughs> So there you go, that's the other thing. Like I say, that's not gonna be worth $99, but if that's something you want, you just go hashtag uh, the sun cover, Mavic sun cover, and that's the product you'll be saying you want. The next thing they sent me was kind of something that I thought, oh darn, I already have one of these. Because here's something I already own. It's a tablet holder for the Mavic. I'm showing it to the main camera now. So what happens is if you have something bigger than a, an iPhone, like a tablet, and you wanna put it on your Mavic, this, little piece of plastic goes where the phone would be on your controller. And then this can expand to be whatever size you want, even a really big tablet, like a 9.7 inch iPad. The downside to this one, and I got, I paid for this one myself, is it's made of plastic. This is plastic, the arm is plastic, all the little hinges are plastic, little plastic wheels to tighten it. And that is a problem because when you get a heavy tablet on there, like a full size iPad, it really wants to put a lot of pressure on these hinges. And since it's plastic, eventually it starts to just sink. And I noticed that, and I've commented, if you watched my review on this a few months ago, that was my comment, is that I felt like I had to lean the Mav, or sorry, lean the iPad right against my stomach in order for me to have confidence it wasn't just gonna start to sink while I was flying. So then they send me, Freewell sends me this box, and if you look at the picture, this picture looks exactly like this product. And I'm thinking, oh great, yeah, I got something, they're sending me something I've already got. Oh no, this is much better. Because when they sent me this one, and they look similar, it's got a shorter arm, so it's less torque on the hinge because this one's got a lot of you know, leverage. So being so far away from where it holds onto the uh, controller, this puts a lot of pressure on the arm. This arm is shorter, and more importantly, you can't tell from looking, but it's made of steel. This piece, this plate that holds onto your controller is solid steel. It's actually turned in there with a metal, uh, well, it's got a little, hinge thing to stick up so you don't even need a coin to tighten it but you tighten it like you would on a tripod and then on this is like a tripod ball a tripod ball mount so you undo it and then you can adjust the angle of your your head and then tighten it again and like i say it's all steel let me show it to this camera so you've got a metal ball much like you would see on a tripod and then this metal wheel tightens it down and it is not going anywhere so what ends up you tighten it as tight as you want and then your, your tablet goes in this thing. It hooks onto your remote this way. So where that phone would be right there, it fits in that same spot. So there we go. So a new and improved, not only a new improved case, but a new and improved tablet holder. So let's just say, I'm getting some duplicates of things here. So I may start having to give some of this stuff away to my patrons. So that's something I also didn't mention. When you put your hashtag, whatever you want in the comments, you get entered into the draw. My patrons are gonna get a second entry. So if a patron wants anything and they put the hashtag whatever, they're gonna get one draw entry for just putting that in the comments section. And of course, they're already subscribed. My patrons are my biggest supporters and I love them dearly. So I wanna make sure that they have at least as good a chance as the average viewer to get this stuff. So when they're a patron and they put that in there, and I know that they're a patron, um, I'm gonna add them a second time into the spreadsheet. So they're gonna get two entries into the draw, not just one, gives them double the chance of winning. And that's my thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. So let's get on to the next thing. So the next thing they sent me was this, what's called a Trio Blue Lightning Charger. And this is not for a Mavic, this is for my Hero 5 Black. So let me just move this out of the way so I can show the other camera. So the Hero 5 Black comes with its own proprietary batteries. And when I went to the BVIs, I went out and bought this, which was a GoPro named charger, dual charger. So, you know, in the past, when you first get it, the only way to charge it is to plug your GoPro directly in with a, a USB cord and it charges while you're plugged into the camera. Unfortunately, you can only charge one uh, battery at a time. So when I was in the BVIs, I, had, I went out and bought this, which came with two extra batteries. And what the plan was when I'm at a hotel room or when I'm in the boat and I've got the solar panels running, I can then charge all three of my batteries right away quickly and uh, be ready to go out on the road with three batteries for my GoPro. Well, Freewell sent me this, which is not just, it's not, again, an improvement on what I already have. Instead of two batteries, it does three. And here's the best part about it. This cord, uh, there's of course, there's a cord that comes in the box that looks exactly like this. It's like a, it looks like a, a USB-C type port. And it plugs, of course, into, this is the cord that came with my GoPro charger. And I thought, what are the chances would be lovely if this charger, 
that came from Freewell happens to have the same attachment, and sure enough, it does. It's like they know because it's with GoPro, they're gonna do exactly what GoPro does and use the exact same cord. So what happens is, this is a USB charger. That means you don't have to plug it into a wall. You can use something like this. I have three of these things. I love these things. This is an anchor charging brick that I got off Amazon. And what it is is when you plug this into the USB, this charges. And I don't know if you can see because I've got the lights so bright, but this one's blue, this one's red, this one's blue. If it's blue, it means it's fully charged. If it's red, it means it's still charging. So you're charging three batteries simultaneously. Like I said, already an improvement over something I already owned, which is a two battery charger for the, the GoPro Hero 5 Black. So anyways, that's the products they sent me. I gotta thank Freewell for sending me this stuff. Harry over at Freewell has been a very generous guy. He's the one that contacted me, the very first company that contacted me and asked me if I'd like to get some product to review. And uh, they don't pay me, but they send me these products from time to time and they're just super generous. And all the products they've sent me have been really good quality. I can't say anything bad about the stuff I've gotten, like I said, um, everything they've ever sent me has worked out perfectly and um, if I ever had an issue, which I can't think I did, Harry's always been super responsive with the emails. So, like I say, I fully think that Freewell would send you a product that you'd be very happy with. Now the great thing is you don't even have to pick any of these products I just showed you. You just pick anything off their website. So go to freewellgear.com, look through the website, pick a bunch of things that are $99 or less, and if you're the winner, they'll ship it to you free of charge. And that's uh, my thanks to you for being viewers. And of course, an extra thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. So if you'd like to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash cruising off duty. That'll get you an extra draw for this thing. But in the future, as you can see, I'm starting to get duplicates of things. I got two cases. I've got more than one GoPro charger system. I've got two of these tablet things. So I'm starting to get to the point where if I keep getting sent stuff and I already have something like that, what I'm gonna probably do is review it and then give it away. Now, who am I gonna give it away to? Most likely my patrons, because they're the ones that financially support the channel and allow me to keep doing this. So there's a perk to being a patron. Not only are you part of the community, the cruising off duty community, and we have meetups and things like that, but things like extra gear. Love to give it away to somebody that I know supports the channel. So anyways, that's it for now. I thank everybody for being a viewer. I love that all of you have been become subscribers to make it to 10,000, which should be any day now. When I started this channel, it was probably, what, seven, eight months ago. I didn't have very high aspirations because I was sailing the Ottawa River, a very small river. Figured I'd put out some videos about sailing and maybe have two, 300 subscribers. And within a month, I had 2,000 subscribers. And now here I am a few months later, crossing, almost crossing 10,000 subscribers. Heartfelt thanks from me and of course Janice, who's not here right now, but nonetheless, we love all the feedback. And like I said, you guys were awesome in the last video where I had to show you that my, my boat had a collision and was sustained some damage. And just the heartfelt uh, feelings I got in the comments was heartwarming. And some people were asking, what can I do to help? Because they live locally to Can uh, Kingston, where the boat is. And the only thing I can think of is, if you know anybody that works with gel coat to repair gel coat scrapes and chips, or you know anybody that works with fabricating stainless steel bars, because I knew I need a new um, pulpit and new stanchion bars, and it's been hell trying to find any service provider that has any time to work on boats right now. I guess everybody's booked solid. So the only place we know that said they would work on it said they wouldn't work on my boat until at least July. So it means I'm gonna to have to sail around the Thousand Islands and the Great Lakes looking like my boat went through a war. So if you know anybody who you think could work on my boat quickly, send me an email at cruisingoffduty at gmail.com and I'm more than happy to give them my insurance company's money. So. Hopefully we find somebody to work on the boat sooner. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the, some of the gear that I've shown you from Freewell. Enter the draw by just putting hashtag and whatever products you want off the Freewell website, and hopefully you'll be the winner. Until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising. I forgot to mention, we're looking for questions to answer on the live broadcast. So send your questions to our email address at cruisingoffduty at gmail.com. Or you can get a hold of us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anywhere else at Cruising Off Duty. Send your questions in and we'll answer them on that broadcast. We will be notifying people when our live broadcast will go live on Facebook and Twitter. We also plan some meetups this summer on the water or in the Kingston area. So that's where you'll find out about that as well. Stay tuned for the next planned episode when we're cruising around the Thousand Islands. We've already started filming. Even though our boat has that don't mess with us Mad Max battle damage look, we're still out sailing.